Okay, first one. Let's look at uh, what what we had talked last uh, week. Actually, last week we are on the text processing. So I go through different way of reading file for uh, Python. Okay, and I think that last year we also covered this in after the competition, right? So that's not a problem. So we do want to work on the tokenization. Okay. So here, before we go further for the uh, this regular expression, let me talk about why are we doing this, okay? So why are we doing this uh, tokenization and qualification of the input, okay? So overall, we have uh, programming language syntax, okay? This language, uh, a formal language, programming language is a set of rules and a logistic system. So Grammar input a machine three in one. This is a three in one system. So grammar rule. You have a grammar rule, some sort of grammar rule. Okay. So Java language you have Java rule. So that's a grammar rule. And then you build using the grammar rule. You build a machine, right? Java virtual machine or something or compiler. Your input Java program that Java being uh, put into here as input. These are three in one. It all related to formal language, okay? Formal language is compared to uh, natural language. Natural language is English, is Spanish, is uh, any other language that used by human. So you can call it human language. Formal language is a language designed for certain purpose. It's a formal, but it also has a logic system. So it actually is usually like mathematical logic or sometimes it's like Java language. It's actually some language. But this language, when we put into a machine, the machine actually will compile it or qualify it based on the grammar rule. So grammar rule input a machine is three in one and you create your executable file. Sometimes you put them into a virtual machine Sometimes it is going into a system it run by itself. So if we go to a virtual machine, it actually is a uh, question and answer, or it will be a uh, uh, interpreter. Interpreter. So you actually uh, Python and you enter something and it responds, and Python you enter something in response. So that's an interpreter or question and answer based. Or you work on the chip chipbot before, right? Chipbot in the APCSA, it is actually a auto response system. So your input coming from uh, uh, speech, right? Speech that actually electronic uh, frequency domain stuff, right? Or time domain stuff. You convert it to uh, ABCD that actually is text space, and that text space enter into your machine. So these are different uh, level of the AI and into your machine, you qualify it with a certain language and you create tokens, valid tokens, and you do it for computational purpose or for AI purpose or for many purposes. So text processing in a way is actually be a front end for every system or, or or sometimes it is not for virtual machine, not for compiler, not for uh, not for text processing, not for translation or language, but it is the front end for for search engine, and search engine recognize certain pattern and it go into information retrieval. So you go to internet do web crawl, crawling, is that okay? Is that okay? So that's the purpose of building a front end, a tokenization stage and a language process stage. So you have the uh, regular expression, regular grammar, regular language uh, described in grammar format like this, in formal way. And you have a language input like the left hand side, informal language, it could be Java, it could be Python, it could be any language. This one qualified by grammar, create a word network 
or some sort of uh, finite state machine that become a finite state machine to qualify the input using the grammar. And then the input coming into here generate a syntax tree, that's a formal, and the syntax tree used to do translation to machine code. Or here you don't create machine code, you can execute it and become a uh, response. Or you have learned pattern before, you can optimize it and it become an AI system. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. So test processing is the starting point for the whole AI system. And we do have front end uh, processing. So here you have test. Before test, you have speech recognition, right? Or you have OCR. Uh, character recognition coming to here, right? And then this one is your machine, and your machine based on certain grammar, right? And you generate some machine, that's your compiler, or maybe you just put into a uh, runner, okay, or, or go into a search engine. So back in, they have different way to do it, okay? So here today, we are not going to t look at the whole picture. The whole picture is, a college senior course called uh, Programming Language, okay? Uh, this is the one I teach in uh, Lewis University, but we are not doing that here. That's not what our concern. So last week we talked about tokenization for Python. Okay, let's talk about, we talk about tokenization for Python. So file input, we do second stage tokenization and then we go into regular expression. So today, we will focus on using regular expression to uh, do uh, things. And last week, we talked about EBNF, okay? Extended Baker's norm, normal form, okay? And then we had the grammar here, and we talked about syntax diagram. And then we haven't touched uh, deeply for regular expression. That's the day's work, okay? So, we will actually uh, try to look at the EBNF here, extended Baker's norm form, okay, and the syntax diagram. So we do this a little bit last week, but here I'm going to actually uh, just uh, go over a little bit again. So let's jump to uh, this one we see, okay, so qualified by a machine we see. So now we are starting the grammar, the grammar actually called Chomsky uh, grammar, there are several level, regular expression, context free grammar, context sensitive, uh, recursive, e innumerable uh, uh, actually uh, grammar. So Chomsky, Chomsky is a person. So Google Chomsky, okay, let's look at Google Chomsky. Chip bot, okay, chip bot. And here there is one chip bot called Chomsky. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the Edis, not, not the Chomsky. I click on the wrong one, okay. Okay, the second one, Chomsky, okay. So Chomsky is a person uh, actually create this sort of grammar, classify four level or different grammar, okay. And what Chomsky here is actually a chess bot, chip bot. So I think that he, uh, they actually borrowed the name from this uh, researcher, okay? So let's try this one. Okay? So the chip bot, you will respond. So do you really, uh, maybe you think, uh, just think you do. Okay, it tried to respond, right? Okay. So basically, they may have a default pattern, they may uh, use some grammar, they may use some AI, but it is a question answer base, right? So this one is the basic for uh, actually for AI. So I don't know how uh, sophisticated uh, the AI is, but 
this one to show you like Chomsky uh, grammar is one of the important uh, uh, thing when we study the AI. You have to uh, qualify the input using some grammar, okay? So recursive, immutable, content-sensitive, content-free grammar, and the regular grammar. These are different level of the grammar, and inside that actually is trickier, uh, easier uh, grammar. Outside is more complicated, and regular grammar is used for regular expression, okay? Contact-free grammar usually for all of the Java language or different language, it is counter-free. And counter-free compared to uh, the regular grammar is regular grammar don't have recursion. No recursion. And counter-free grammar has the recursion. So most of the programming language belong to counter-free grammar. And outside is more complicated uh, stuff, okay? And when we have recursion, in theory, when we have a recursion, we will need memory. We will need some memory uh, in our program that actually has a recursion. We regular expression, we don't need recursion. We don't have the memory, okay? So that's Chomsky, uh, Chomsky uh, grammar. So we have expression grammar and language. These three are actually uh, a, a set, three in one system. So let's jump further away. So here we have a grammar rule, and right hand side is a machine. It's grammar rule, machine, and the uh, and the expression three are uh, three in one. Three will have one equivalent uh, thing. And here, this one is a biggest known form for a uh, number. Okay, so for number, let's try this one. Try to understand this one. So here we have. Zero, so you will have can have a number zero and go this way and get out. So that's a regular zero, right? Okay, or you may have a number actually coming to here, right? One to nine and go here and get out. So the second one it actually is uh, just one to nine, okay? Or you have, can have a row coming to here, come to here, repeat several times, right? And then get out. That's integer, so it give you one, two, three, four, five, one hundred, two hundred, uh, one thousand. Any uh, integer would be this one. Uh, actually, natural number would go this way. Okay, and blue one is for zero. Okay, and you may have negative number, so negative number will go this way. Come to here, repeat several times, get out. That is negative uh, um, integers. Okay, that's negative integers. And you can have a 14 point number. So 14 point number, go to here, come to here, repeat several stage for whole number quotient, come here, get decimal point, and get a few of the digit over here and get out. So that is 14 point, give you 3.54421, something like that. That is the, uh, the so-called uh, double or 14 point number. And last one, you may have this one coming to here, whole number, get out, come to here, a few digit, and then come here to exponential uh, number and get out. That give you scientific notation. Is that okay? Okay. So this Becker's law form actually give us what? A, a grammar to check numbers that include all kind of numbers, okay? And this uh, grammar, we can write it down in regular expression. Mm -hmm. And then we can have Python code to qualify. Is that okay? That's the whole purpose we are trying to do here. And also, all kind of uh, thing we can do it with it, okay? So I don't go into the biggest normal form, uh, normal form too much, but basically integer can be defined like this. Uh, so right hand side is, is production rule. A number will be an integer or real number. An integer will be a digit with digit star. Digit star is actually digit and repeat one, uh, zero to uh, infinity time, okay? And real number will be an integer uh, exponent or a decimal with this woman. Integer is a whole number or decimal is actually some value, 3.1, okay, exponent, do something. And exponent is uh, leading E is plus minus an integer. 
So this one here, you will create 3.1 E15, okay? And decimal point is actually uh, would be the decimal part. So it is 35.21, something like that, okay? And digit is 0 to 9. It's okay. So here, create a regular grammar for regular expression for numbers. Is that okay? And regular, this is regular grammar, and we need to translate it into regular expression, and Python will be able to help us to do it. So here, uh, different definition for the term. Okay, each recursive term can be defined over here. Okay, that's not our main purpose to discuss here. So. Uh, we will have a program being uh, tokenized, right? Tokenized, and after we tokenize it, uh, it will create a syntax tree. But here we are not going to talk about compiler, that's too far. We talk about a uh, Berkeley's null form, and that is a basic representation for grammar. But here we don't emphasize on this one, we go directly to syntax diagram. So, the text format not easy to understand. We know about the uh, graphic beta. So here, I'm trying to teach you to design some syntax diagram and translate them into regular expression and do Python to qualify it. So syntax grammar, we have a few things. First one, a vertical bar. A vertical bar is actually selection. So it would be A or B, C, okay? So this uh, syntax can be A or B, C, okay? So this is option, top portion or lower portion, is okay? And second one is A or B and concatenated with C. So here it will generate A, C, and B, C, okay? And this one is A, optional B. Optional means zero to uh, or one time or no, no times. So it would be A, B, C, and A, C, two uh, possible uh, pattern can be generated after this. Or you have the A, uh, curry, brace, B, that would be zero or more times. So you can have A, C, A, B, C, A, B, B, C, A, B, 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 C. These are all legal patterns. So by syntax diagram, we are able to generate a, some sort of grammar rule uh, that can qualify our input pattern to make sure that is legal. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. So here, bunch of different rules. Okay, we don't go into here. It will test waste us a lot of time. But here, that's, we, we know this is good enough, okay? So we go into regular expression, and regular expression is an expression to uh, to to actually code, do coding for that uh, syntax diagram, okay? So here we have bar, we have bar uh, or uh, actually automation, okay? So we have concatenation, you have it, that, and then we have clean closure. Clean closure means zero or more times. Positive uh, closure, that means one or more times using the plus sign, okay? Something like that. So here we have the regular expression syntax. One dot means matching any character. So, for example, we have dot, we have dot A, that really, really this regular expression means A, A, B, A, C, A, 1, A, 2, A, 10, A, okay? It's all any character we say A, okay? And if we say a pattern is A star, so it can be nothing or can be A, can be A, A, can be A, 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 okay? If we do A plus, that means A, or A, 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 and the difference between star and the uh, uh, plus sign is this one, you, you can have nothing, space, nothing, which is okay. Okay, and question mark, it's your A, question mark means uh, zero, never have nothing, or one A, okay? Or sometimes you can do M or N, M to N, so, a M uh, so say two means A A and A one three means A A A and A A A. Is that okay? Yeah, is that okay? This is regular expression uh, syntax. Is that okay? 
Any question? What is the what is M and N? Is that a number? Repetition, yeah, number. One, two, three. Yeah. Describing a pattern, say I have A. So if I have A you have A. A and one, two. That means it can be A and A A. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So that actually is the pattern. And you can have a backslash, that's the escape uh, sequence, okay? And you can have a character set. So character set, you say SC, it will be either S or C. So here, let's do this one. For example, if I have SC, a star, that means what? Means nothing, or I have S, or I have a C, or I have SC, I have CS, I have CC, I have SS. Or I have CSC, or have SSS. So, so I mean any number of C and S. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. With, with okay. Star. Without star, it would just mean without star, it would just mean C and S. Is that okay? And if I have a question mark, question mark means S and C, and question mark that will actually only nothing or C or S. Three puzzle case. Is that okay? And if I have okay. a rational case, this, and put it one, two, then it will be C, S, C, S, 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 C, C, and S, S, uh, S, C. So you'll be S or C, but two, one to two characters. Is that okay? Okay. And if it, it actually is A to G, say A to G, and actually, uh, say here one, that means A, B, C, D, up to G. One of these characters and one times, and dash actually from A to G, is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. And that is positive uh, candidates, so you uh, put your candidate in there, and you can also use a cap sign, that means that no S and C, anything else but S and C. So this one will give you a, B, C, D, E, uh, A, B, D, E, whatever character is okay, but no C and no S. Okay? And okay. you can have a matching group or start of line or end of line. Okay, this one, so far, just keep this in mind. These are the uh, way we write regular expression. You actually don't know how to use it. It is just like doing programming, so you need to practice a little bit to learn it, okay? So this is a regular expression, and when are we going to use it, okay? We sometimes had the mail to, uh, and then the email address. So here, this one, uh, so complicated, but uh, this one is the email address, regular expression for email address. So if you use this one to check the email address, and, and the email address doesn't follow this regular expression, it will be rejected. So basically, this one is a, email uh, checker and you put your regular expression here and your email pattern uh, say echild at gmail.com will be passing through here and you return to. Is that okay? Yeah, so like validation. Validation, yes, validation. So if you write something called uh, uh, gz uh, and then you do uh, S side that is, and then two two that come. Sorry, this one rejected. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay. So here, let's see this one. Okay, let's just break down a little bit. So here we have a S sign. We know this is the S sign, right? Before that, what's that? Before that, that's a A to G, A to G, zero to nine. So this one is any of the alpha numerical letters, right? All lowercase, all uppercase, and all numbers, and one time or more. So it, at least one and three that at something, or eight that at something, it can be empty one because it's plus signs one or more. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, so minimum here will we, we have a A at, A at second one, up to the S side, you will have same thing one or more time. And then the dot, 
So that is all there here. Here can be uh, one later to infinity number of later and that. Here, same thing. Also, that uh, it that can that net or something. But here, also, it is a one later over there. Is that okay? So as you can see over here, this one is a legal checker for email address. One of the legal checkers. you can refine it actually. Okay. So okay. this one, if you don't believe it, you can come to here. I think there are many, many of these on the internet say uh, email address regular expression. Okay, so here expression, regular expression. So email regular expression is something that like is is okay. You can find from internet with such a uh, regular expression. And last week I talked about how to use the Java to do regular expression, right? Actually, are you okay? Hello? What? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about using the uh, Java to do regular expression, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. How about Christopher, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, you remember this, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. But we do not go into detail of how to, to design it. But today we basically go through what? Go through the basic rules. So only these two tables you need to remember, okay? I already sent it to to here. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me see. I put regular expression three and this one. Okay, let, let me also send the two there. Let me also send the tool to you so you can actually later get started by yourself. So this one actually is to helping you to qualify something, okay? And I told you this one is important because because AV, uh, AI study starting from checking of the patterns. Is that okay? Every AI staff starting from checking of the patterns. Okay? Uh, here. So we, we actually don't want to waste too much time on this one. So here we have more of the regular expression uh, discussion. We get out of it, okay? So now let's go back to the C3 regular expression Python, okay? Let's go to Python to study the regular expression and let's use regular, uh, Python to do uh, regular expression, okay? So regular expression are patterns that we can specify and use to search and repress text in uh, pattern. So we can match, we can search, we can match, we can repress using the regular expression. That's the power of it. Okay. So it's in form of the regular expression, which function or ma uh, method can take regular expression as argument. And how to use the result of matching regular expression against the test. Okay. So in the first part, we will discuss the component of regular expression patterns. Each component individually and the way to combine them into more complicated uh, regular expression, uh, uh, actually uh, of a few simple uh, control structure. So in Python, which can be combined into more complicated control structure. Okay, we will talk about Python way of doing it. Okay, let's just speed up a little bit. So regular expression rule, general rule of matching. Okay, and regular expression match most number of character possible called greedy algorithm. So we try to match as many as possible. That's called greedy algorithm. Is that okay? So we, so we can tell a regular expression checker to do regular, uh, greedy algorithm to match as many as possible. And we can also use it to match fewest number of the character possible. So then in that case, we find some solution and we get out. So either way, if you want to have many or one, that depends on your own application. Is okay? Is okay? So, so it will like reject it as soon as you exceed like the yes, C one, yeah, yeah. So in the matching itself, you can cut if you don't like to match everyone. You, you can find tons of expression, but actually, a tons of pattern, but you, you actually don't need it, right? So it depends on which way you would like to match, okay? So 
so here, same thing. We have matching single character set and uh, the, the Lua outset and matching. Okay, we do talk about this before. So recognition A, recognition B, uh, you should have a recognition A followed by recognition B. And this one is A, B. So let's see. This one is recognition expression followed by recognition session B. It will be something like this. Okay? First one. Second one would be record expression A or record expression B to combine and come to here. It's okay, optional. It's okay. So this one is that one. Syntax diagram, this one's this one. And then recognition and zero or one times. So actually, this one would be a what? Going this way, nothing, or going a R and get out. Is okay? That's this R question mark. Is okay? Okay. And then the next one, uh, zero or more. Zero or more means you will have a feedback system here and come back to here again. That's a zero or more. And one or more, it get one times and come back and repeat again. That's one or more. So this one is R question mark. This one's R star. This one is R plus. Okay, so right here I'm going to tell you regular expression is pretty much uh, well aligned with the syntax diagram. So if you, you have some idea, you can write it down by uh, the syntax diagram. Pretty much you can do it in regular expression. And pretty much you can use Python language to check it. Or even Java language is the same thing. Is that okay? Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Is that okay? Christopher, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. How about Julia? Are you okay with this one? Hi, Julia. Are you okay? Uh huh. Let's see. File processing. Valid day. Uh, last time we did not discuss this. Last time we try a something called Python. Let me try to find the Py, uh, Java code, okay? I seem to actually put it in uh, one class over here. Let me see. Yeah, here is a file process. So let me cut, copy this one, put it back to the web design course. Okay, chapter four, let me pass it over here, okay? So that's the Java portion, okay? So Java portion, we last week, uh, I do not, I show you some telephone number uh, expression. And we do not go further for detail, but today we are going to try more, okay? So last time, remember this one, we have uh, shown you not here, but basically, we got a regular expression, we can use that to compile it and check a certain string is a valid pattern following for it or not, okay? Is that okay? For this, uh, is a valid checker. So you have a regular expression put in here and use that to compile for a pattern checker, called pattern. Is that okay? And that really is, the, the pattern checker check with the input pattern. So input pattern coming from S. And that has been put here. So this is a pattern really is the machine. It comes from expression. Okay, and the S string is being put here and check the result. And that result is called major the matrix. Is that okay? That that check that will give you the result. Is that okay? Is that okay? Both Julia and Christopher, is that okay? And we do test it. So we put in uh, the pattern for numbers, right? Is that okay so far? Hello? Yeah. Yeah? So the input string is this one, right? The pattern is this one. We do check it last time, right? Okay, here we also have the matching of uh, how many times, so it depends on the number. So 
basically this pattern so this R5, uh, it actually is R and R and R and R and totally five R one by one, okay? Something like that, okay, that's the pattern it is. So here is three and five, it can be this, this, and this, okay? So that's a basic rule about a regular expression. And we can do parenthesis to do capturing of the group, okay? And these are more uh, advanced topic. Let's not think about it right now. Let's continue. So we can match R and actually put things into a group, okay? And we can do grouping and checking grouping. Okay, these are more advanced. Let's not think about it right now, okay? And then we have escape sequence, okay? That's okay. And backslash D means digit. So one single backslash D equals this. Sorry. So you write backslash D or you write zero to nine. Same thing in regular expression. <coughs> Hello. 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 Is that okay. But capital D means no no digit, no digit. It's the inverse of it. So capital something means no no it. None of it. Is that okay? Hello? Is that okay? Yeah. And S means white space. Word means words. Okay? But that, in press W means uh, uh, no no letters. No alpha mean no letter. So these few, I would say, left hand side is easier to use than right hand side. Okay? But you need to know about these are the exact key sequence in the regular version. In fact, in fact, in fact, your uh, Java language you have. This one here can be a regular expression, okay? It can be a regular expression. They just don't tell you that, okay? They just don't tell you that, okay? That's, that's just something we will learn, okay? So equivalence, okay, you can do recurrence. That's not actually uh let's see let's, here is a cheese seed okay let's look at the one example okay let me see uh this is not okay, okay now let's forget about this okay let me see okay let me see let's do problem one okay write a regular expression pattern that matches the string july force july force one two three four five these different patterns so the regular expression pattern will have Acceptable pattern would be J U L I space four, J U L Y space four, J U L four T H, J U L Y four T H, and J U L Y fours, and J U L Y capital F fours. Okay, how can we write a regular expression for this one? And we want to do it in uh, 24 characters. Okay. Can you give us like a few minutes to try first? You sh I, I'm, I'm going to give you a few minutes to try. So okay. can I stop here? You work, find a paper to do it. So one uh, quick uh, hint is that this one right you have jul you have need to have this one right and then you are going to have a optional y so optional y doesn't look at the character set y over here but it actually is zero or one time right that's one way you can write it or you can do this one jul uh, slash J U L Y, okay, and then you actually do this. So this one will be what? This one will be you go ahead and you do J U L or you go ahead do this side J U L Y, okay, and this side you will do something, this side do something. Okay? Or you do J U L and then you actually finish that and you do actually uh no, this is zero or one. So basically here should have none of this. 
and go back, you have a Y and come back here, right? Uh, 0, 01, I'm sorry, this is not 0, 01. Uh, this one is not 0, 01. 0, 01 actually means you can go to here for the Y or you bypass it, right? Okay, I just give you some hint. Should do this uh, design first before actually doing a regular expression, okay? So I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'm going to get some coffee, okay? Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, Julia and Christopher. Are you working on it or no? Um, Can you try to try to get some paper to do it? So, yeah. Sherwin, are you done? I'm still working on it. Okay. Now, uh, Julia, are you doing working on it? Let, let's try. Okay, let's try. Uh, you can continue to work on it. Let's try this one. Okay. So that's the analyze it, okay? So basically you have JUL, that actually the DD data, that's for sure, right? That one is done, but actually you will follow by either nothing or with a Y, so you will say Y actually fine. But with a Y and no Y actually, they will completely go different paths, right? So here you go into here, you go into here, you will go four and zero or one times of the th and come back to here and finish this one actually finish it again right uh i'm sorry here should also have a space right so this this is a space single space there yeah okay before the four it will be a space right is that okay something like it's is okay Right, upper pass, cover this one and the, uh, and this one, right? Uh, because uh, this uh, you, with Y one you will have four fours and four fours the different option you can do, right? So here we first option you go here you have a uh, with Y then you come with a space actually everybody has a space so so this one actually it should be Y and followed by a space. Right, and then followed by uh, actually, you have a four as passport has a four, right? And you have four and th actually also one and none. That's one option you go and you go to here, okay? And you may also go here for fours, okay? And you may also go for capital F fours, so. These two seems to can, can be done by this one. You can be done, it go up by a single F or a single capital F and then two combined together with O-U-R-T-H. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm almost done. So that's the way we do it and you need to write this one in uh, in uh, regular expression. So let's see. The program is like this, okay? So July business is for th question mark. Okay, so th one zero or one times, right? Or y space ys. So this one actually is the same as what, what I say. This one is j u l, right? And then you go up here, you have a space followed by a four. 
right? And after that, you have the th uh, zero or one times coming back, okay? So two or over here, or you right here, you have the y followed by a space, and then followed by here, you go four, and then actually uh, with th zero or one times coming back to here, right? And going down this way, you can have lowercase f or uppercase f, uh, and then to combine with uh, o u r t h stuff, and then combine back to here. Is that okay? Can you check mine? To see if it's right. The mine's a bit different. Okay, yours is different. Let's go back to. Uh, you share the screen. Can you take a picture or something? Yeah, I can share screen. Yeah, you share screen. This one is not optional Y. Uh, this one is not optional Y. This one is not optional Y. That one is one character set Y. It's not optional Y. Is that okay? So so look at my, my code. It's not optional Y. It's actually with the bracket or no bracket, you actually mean the same thing. Is that okay? Let's go back to see what is option Y. Okay. Option Y here actually is a bar. Is this B bar? That's actually the option Y. So B bar give you the options. Is that okay? B bar give Wait, you the bar. Option. Yeah, this bar. This bar give you the option. So this path is over here, is from here to here. So you use a, a parenthesis to, so JUL is this part, and then this bracket to bracket, it means this upper part and lower part merge together, right? And in the middle, it's, it's break by this part. So this portion is this portion. And this portion is this portion. Is that okay? Okay, wait. So is there a way to do the like the fourth yeah, part is, just once? Because yeah, yeah, just once, just once is a question mark. So T H question parenthesis question mark that's a T H No, I mean you kind of repeated it with both cases with, with the Y without the Y. Yeah, but, but because you one with the Y with a space, one with only a space. So you can merge together two uh, expressions. Oh. I, I know what you're talking about, but it, it's impossible. Okay. Okay? Okay, let's do this. Okay, this is actually a Python code, okay? Let's do the array around. Let's do here, let's actually do this guy, let me actually copy this string over to Java, is that okay? Since we have a Java code over there, let me actually copy this guy. Okay, go back. Go back to here, let me actually go in on my uh, Java. So let me create a class called July, July Force. Okay, let's go July Force checker, okay? So here, let me put this July 4th pattern over here, okay? We will use it later, but that's not doing it right now, okay? And let me actually grab a test expression, test natural expression, so that's actually, no, not this one. I want the RE version, so let's do this one, make the expression checker. So that actually get one of it would be enough, okay, get one of it would be enough, okay? and put it in my July 4th. I don't want to make it too complicated, so I'm going to rewrite it, okay? So pathway, static, uh, void name, okay? And do this, okay? So here I will have string, right? Uh, expression. Okay, so my expression actually is 
cutting from here. That's my gauge expression. Okay, and this one that's actually deleted. Okay, so here let me actually put it here, and let me call it. Don't call it. Uh, let's call it uh, regex. Okay, regex reg expressions name, and we are going to try uh, actually here as well. Uh, so here you need to put two slash, okay, that actually the dual of Java stream, okay. So here, when you come to Java, that's one thing we need to know, okay. So here we have this one, and that's the string patterns, string patterns, okay, equals uh, patterns. So actually, I want to have some patterns. So here, that's we call it pets. Okay. For these patterns, let me actually go to here, grab all of the legal pattern here, up to here to copy. Okay, and then put it into here. These are different legal copies. So July force, July force. Okay. Okay, and let's do this one. We actually, that's a pattern, many patterns. So here, let's do four integer i equals zero, i less than uh, patterns that bends, and i increase. So we do the following system that out that queen f, okay, slash slash n. Okay, so here let's do a string. Which string? We have the patterns uh, i, okay. This is, okay. Uh, percentage Boolean uh, string, okay. So here I have a comma, okay. And then we do this one, we do uh, re that is valid. Okay, and then put in here your patterns i, okay, and here you comma, right, comma, and then here you put your regex over here, right, and question mark. If yes is legal, if no, that will give me your legal. It's okay. 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 Uh, and this one, let's see, RE, okay, this one should be R capital E. Right? Our class is called R capital E. Okay, let's compile and run. Yeah, these are all legal. Let's try some illegal one. So let's try JUL. J U L and force, right? This one actually is illegal, right? But it's actually a confusing one, right? We can try here, we try in front of it, let's try uh July. Let's do capital July force. Okay, let's try these two, okay? And they are dual that allows you to do uh, ignore of case. Okay, ignore of case. Okay, the here actually starting from July 4, illegal, legal, 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 and illegal. Is okay? So you see the power okay. of checking the pattern, right? You do see the power of checking the patterns. So when you get some input there, you can use it for input qualification also. When you generate a token, you will see whether this is a valid token or not, right? Uh, Christopher, are you okay? Yeah, I see it. You see it already? Uh -huh. So this one is very powerful. You can write it actually in Python, Java, JavaScript. Uh, Hackathon also be useful. 
if you know how to eat. Of course, you need to have some practice, okay? Don't go to take a song and then you actually never practice it. It won't work, okay? So right here, you can do RE. You, you actually, in Java, in Python, you import RE. RE is a module, and RE has a metric function. So your 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 pattern metric function is here. Your, your pattern stream is over here. Right? Is that hard to do? It's actually easy. So you will return something, but it will actually be none or a group. So if it is none, if it is none, it actually no one match. If it is none, none, it do print the group. You will print out the result. Is that okay? And the group is a result. It's all, every pattern that match it. It's not only one pattern. It may have multiple patterns that match it. Is that okay? Is that okay for this Python code? So you know the value of this one, it actually give you a lot of flexible thing to do. Okay. Is that okay here? Yeah. This RE coming from a regular expression uh, module. And you put a match over here, you put your straight uh, pattern and your string. And you create a M. And this M actually is what? This M actually is one of these, and eventually you will print out the the pattern. Is that okay? Okay. This one. So that is our that's our uh, syntax diagram. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Next one. Uh, problem. Write the regular expression pattern that matches the string that time on twelve hour. Uh, clock so no 24 20 no 23 59 0 0 colon 0 0 up to what up to 11 colon 59 let me see 12 hour clock yeah okay so this one this and this not even it's okay can you do this one so only AM or PM, we only allow one. So zero, 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 zero up to uh, one, one colon 59. Is that okay? A and PM just don't care about it. Is that okay? Can okay. you do this one? Time, travel, yeah. pattern. Christopher, can you do it? And Julia, please do it, okay? It will help you to understand what uh, a regular expression is. And I told you this one pretty, pretty powerful if you go to a summer camp to do text processing, AI processing, uh, regular expression almost uh, everywhere. Okay, are you done? I have an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at it, okay? So we have actually four digits, right? Column, column, here, here, right? The first two numbers can be what? From 0, 0, 0, 1, up to 1, 1, and 1, 2. Uh, no 1, 2, 1, 1, and 1, 0, right? So if you are 0, leading 0, you follow by 0 to 9, right? If you are 1, you can only have uh, zero and one. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. So that's the left hand side. You can only allow this. So left, in the middle, you have a, 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 a column, right? That's no problem. Then you have two options. You go leading zero or zero to nine, uh, followed by zero to nine. You come to here, right? And the second one, you go one, and you go uh, actually uh, zero uh, or one, right? Uh, actually, you can put zero to one, okay? And go back to here, right? So that finish the left hand side. How about right hand side? The minutes, right hand side. You, so you follow, can do uh, yeah? either six zero or you don't uh, have six zero. zero. To five. You only have zero to five, you have no zero. So here the leading one, you have zero to five, followed by zero to nine, and finish. Is that okay? Yeah, can you check my... Yes, yes, let's actually erase this and check yours, okay? You are trying to do a and pm both, right? Uh, what what is this one? Where? Uh, let me see. Let me see. This one. Okay, you you don't want to have two digits. Let's assume you only have one digit. Okay. So your run digit should be zero to nine, right? Nine, one to nine. Oh, you can't have zero. Why? No, this, this is just one through nine, and then 10, 11, 12. Like, yeah, but, you can't but, have zero clock. But, but you actually, zero, oh, you don't, actually, let me see. So you actually have 12 p.m., there's no zero. Yeah, for 12 hour oh, clock. Okay, okay, so okay. So that's, that's okay. Let me see. Okay, so one, two, nine. yeah, you is okay on the left hand side, and then yeah, uh, that's okay. Good. That is okay. 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 How about Julia and Christopher? Do you have something you want to show? Uh, yes or like, no? You have handwriting. I, can also show yeah. If you want to take a picture and then show us your handwriting, it's also good. Yeah, it's definitely not good. So, uh, but try, okay? Because this one I think that is really uh, important. Many coding cases you yeah. need to do a regular expression, especially website. I mean, website, a lot of input validation to do. And I'm trying to teach you a very simple version. We have many, many patterns. You will check my chapter three. They are long uh, validation patterns. Uh, yes. Wait, what do you want me to do? Show your join or your uh, regular expression. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Can you show or no? Yeah. yeah. If you can show, you show. If you cannot, uh, it's okay. I, I don't know how to show it. Yeah. You have a picture, you take a picture. You have uh, some showing, you take an iPhone picture and open it as a picture. How about you? Are you okay? Hello, Julia, are you okay? Uh, Julia, are you following? Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Let me actually show my screen. So that one is for Christopher's uh, design. Okay. Oh God. Ah, <laughs> uh, so Christopher design. Christopher design is the one I say from zero zero to uh. No, you will have nineteen. That's not legal. Yeah. You will have nineteen. That's not legal. So here, this portion. If you want to do zero zero up to uh eleven, you should do zero, uh, followed by uh, zero to nine, right? Or one followed by zero and one. Is that okay. This portion should be doing that. Is that okay. Show it. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to do uh, the the zero to eleven system, yours is okay. Yours is like twelve hour pattern. That is okay. Okay. How about you? Here? Are you okay? So you you when you will have in college, you will have many of these to do research and thing. You have a ton of these to do. So here we have uh, this uh, actually uh, checking for twenty four hour. Okay. So, yeah, so we use a digit, okay, of one with zero and two. So this one actually is uh, what uh, showing the uh, format, okay? Uh, anyway, I don't repeat it, it actually shows the format of this, okay? And A and P can actually be optional, is that okay? You do A and slash P and that's fine, okay? But you, your A and P actually can be uh, optional, is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So now, sir, problem. What a regular expression pattern that matches string? We present phone number of the following. Normal phone number or long distance long phone number. Is that okay? Can you try? I won't give you a hint. Okay. Try this one? I'll try. Yeah, I'm going to get some coffee this time more, okay? So we'll work on this. I'm, I'm going to get back, going back five minutes, okay?
Hello. Anyone done? Bro, I'm almost done. Okay. Christopher, try, okay? And also, Julia, please try. Okay, let's talk about it. So it's not really hard. Now it's assume that this each one of these is called a digit, right? So digit is best slash D, right? And you do three times, so actually it's three times for sure and dash. And then digit for sure four times. Is that okay? So the normal portion is like this. How about long distance? So this one would all with long distance. Long distance will be one for sure, dash for sure, right? Parenthesis for sure, parenthesis for sure. And inside here you have three digit. Is that okay? And then three digit over here. And dash. Press less D, four digit. Is that okay? Yeah, I have an issue with mine. Yeah, okay. That's the way I do it right now, okay? So you share. Zero or nine three time dash okay one uh mm, wait what's the best dash for what is the best dash for it is best what's this best dash for if you want to do best dash d the space space but here you don't need that right. Yeah, we can pretty much delete that. What's the base slash for? Yeah, and the other one, yes. Yeah. No, I think it should be fine. Ah, uh, you forget the parenthesis. Oh, so your best slash is for parenthesis. Yeah, so do one. And maybe you need to do double parenthesis. I'm sorry. Because it's kept line. Two means one. Two means one is two, right? Uh, no, I'm talking about best dash. Yeah. So you should have best dash parenthesis. Right? Best dash parenthesis. Mm, no, what I mean actually is. Mm, Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you can try, you can try this one. I'm thinking of maybe we need two press dashes. Uh, why, why that one is true? Why that one is true? Mm, okay, number one here you can do not equals none, and you don't need this one, right? Not equals one. 
na equals nang new image na equals nang yeah Right. And how come it's still true? Let me check, okay? So here you have all, let me see, yeah, you have all. Or yeah, that need a parenthesis, yeah. No, still true. Uh, the first part you have mm, that mm, okay. mm. I true. <clears throat> one two one two one dash is a bunch of zero to nine four times three times this I'm not sure who it went wrong. Sometimes. Okay, let me check my pattern, is that okay? I'm not sure who it went wrong, okay? I can see it actually. So the one I have here, oh, there's another one in terms of it. So let's do this one. So here, actually, the thing is like to make a more complex design, you have this uh, five, 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 dash one, two, one, two. This is one section. And then in front, you will add one, 800. So this one is optional. So this whole thing, zero or one times. So it's a zero or one time, right? Okay. And then you have one dash, a parenthesis, and a parenthesis. And here you have three number in there. This is the three number in there. Okay. And you have dash, 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 D. Okay, this one actually is cool for the inter office. So that. So basically here we do best SD three times this uh best D four that would be okay. But the one uh that you have doesn't seem to be error have any error in there, but I, I don't know. I don't know that's where it, it went wrong, okay? Okay, can you send me your the one you have? I, I will have time to look at it. Is that okay? So so something okay. like this we can continue to do for different patterns, okay? So inter office that is this one that is, okay? We can continue to have more problems. So I think, I, I don't know whether Julia and Christopher are following. Can we do this? We have, can, I send you this uh, PowerPoint file, right? Can we do this? You guys work on these problems, right? And next week we meet to discuss this. Is that okay? We still have tons of uh, problems yeah. we can do, right? We still have tons of, tons of problems we can do. Is that okay? And you can read each and work on your version. Is that okay? Okay, okay. Well, I think that actually okay. makes a more sense, right? You're here, you, I wait for you, you wait for me. You take a longer time. Uh -huh. Is that okay? So you go finish the whole problem from, we do it from problem one to problem seven here. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, and don't look at the solution. You 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 are welcome to look, uh, look at it, but but I would uh, I would encourage you just to do from a problem statement. Is okay? Just like this, you put it there and you draw some diagram or something, and then we discuss once you have some result. Is okay? Okay. Okay. So how about Julia? Are you okay? 
Uh-huh. So next week we do that. Is that okay? Just try problem one to problem seven. Okay, here problem one to problem seven. And anything beyond it, you are welcome, but not uh, part of uh, the uh, problem. Okay, you can continue to work on whatever pattern here. And I have simple code. If you need simple code, I can send it to you. Because I build a whole set. Okay, I build a whole set. So I have all the code, but uh, you you are welcome. If you need a code, I can send you. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. So here, yeah, this is very detailed. Uh, Educational material for re, uh, re, uh, regular expression. I don't think you can get any better material from this. Okay, just try to finish the chapter. Which one? You go to here. I send you several one. This one is called uh, number three regular expression Python. Is that okay. Organization chapter three. Is that okay. Okay. How? I think uh, I send it over here. I send it over here to number two, and uh, it will be this uh, number three regular expression text, okay? Finish the seven problem there, and we will look at it, okay? Okay, okay. Right. good night here, okay? Bye. Bye.